Mike, uh, can this serve as a, a cautionary tale, not only for your team, but for all teams around the league, everything that's happened, not only with, with you guys, but with the Ravens as well? You know, we know we don't need cautionary tales. We're living this every day. We've been living it every day. Uh, we've been tested daily since July 20th. Uh, we listen to all the protocols and all the memos and things delivered to us from New York. Uh, we have taken this very seriously. Um, it's just confirmation of what we already know. Ray Fittipaldo. Mike, you, you started prep, you stop, and now you're resuming prep for this game. What's this week been like for you as a head coach, and how do you think your players have handled it? You know, we had a holiday, and so it was nice from that perspective. I know our players have, have enjoyed the three days rest. Uh, there was a lot of energy uh, at practice today. I really think uh, it could be a positive thing if we make it that, and I know that's our intentions. I know it is for me. Joe Rutter. Yeah, Mike, how do you intend to handle Stefan to its absence? Will you move a Lua Lua over or keep him where he is? We're going to utilize all, all the players at our disposal. Uh, we distribute those reps among the group. Uh, the strength of the pack will be the pack in that regard. You talk about a guy like Tuit and the impact that he makes. It's not a one-man job. It's an all-man job. Brooke Breyer. Yeah, Mike, you mentioned the COVID situation that you guys are having. Are you confident that the spread in your locker room is under control? And is that an example of the protocols that you guys have implemented working? You know, I don't know that I can say I'm confident of anything in this environment. I know that um, I, I got great news today that we had no positives. And I think that's the global mentality of all of us is day to day. Uh, it's a sensitive situation. And so you're talking about degrees of confidence and things of that nature. That's a slippery slope. Jeff Hathorn. Mike, how do you prepare for scenarios so you don't have an entire position group affected? We keep people separate. We work virtually. We meet virtually. Um, we work our tails off to, to social distance uh, so, so that we're not caught up in such circumstances. Mike Pursuta. Mike, uh, your, your team has kept its eye on the ball pretty well based on your record. Uh, there was a lot of uh, reaction initially to this situation, negative reaction from your players. You, you confident everybody's focus is still where it needs to be, or do you got to bring them back in a little bit? Uh, I'm 100% confident of that. You know, this group was leaning in on a short week, man, having an opportunity to be a part of a Thanksgiving primetime game. Uh, everybody grew up on football on Thanksgiving, man. They were excited about being a part of that. I think it's a natural response to be disappointed to lose that opportunity. Um, but that's over. And uh, we're getting focused on Tuesday night. Uh, some of our Mac guys are completely comfortable with playing on Tuesday night. Uh, so we're excited about it. Jenna Harmer. Mike, what's been your message to the team throughout all of these changes this week? And how have you seen the guys respond? Obviously, you just touched on there was probably a little bit of frustration, but how have you kind of seen them react to all of this? We're just taking it day by day. Um, and, and like I'd imagine everyone is, we had a great day today. Um, had an opportunity to come and get our work in and have a normal Friday. And now we're pushing into our weekend itinerary, if you will. And so um, that's our mentality. Mark Caboli. And Mike, either one of your running backs who are healthy really haven't had a lot of carries in a game. Do, does that have to come into a play when you're uh, dividing up the reps? I have no reservation about Benny Snell as a featured runner. Didi Kinkabala. So – what is the actual process of preparing for players that you don't know whether you will, who are for preparing for a roster that you have no idea what it will look like every day? You know, we're preparing, we're preparing for the schematics, meaning the structure of which they operate, the plays that they run, the personality that they have. Uh, I'm sure as they infuse players in, those things will be unchanging. And so uh, we're comfortable with our level of preparedness and our ability to prepare based on those things. Joe Rutter. Hey Mike, I mean, you have contingencies in most position groups, but a kicker, you only have one. What, what do you do in the event something strikes up there? Uh, when you work on a short week, you, you, you work someone out, you have somebody in the protocol, so if called upon, uh, you, you can call on them, like we did in preparation for this week when we thought it was going to be a Thursday game. Brooke Breyer. Mike, kind of along those lines, a situation like one that happens with the Broncos where all of their quarterbacks are, are ineligible because of the COVID contact tracing. Have you given any thought to having a quarterback, an emergency quarterback in a bubble or anything else like that down the road? 
No, because we exercise all the necessary precautions in terms of the protection of the quarterbacks that we have. Didi Kinkabala? Going a little bit more globally here, you have been very honest from the very beginning that this is a one-fail, all-fail environment. As we are seeing what is happening across the league, how do you feel about the discipline, about the standards that are being set by the league, and would you like things to tighten up a little bit? I am so concerned with our issues and what's going on with us. There are people in place to answer those questions and have that agenda that you mentioned. Uh, I'm just work, working hard to make sure this group upholds its end of the bargain. Will Graves? Mike, have you, in addition to whatever the league is asking you guys to do, has the team asked the players to do anything beyond that in terms of taking precautions to try to take, safeguard themselves when they're not at the facility, when they're, when they're home? We're, we, we've asked them to go above and beyond from day